Creating a custom knife from scratch is an incredibly rewarding experience, whether your knife is for everyday carry, or maybe it's a gift for a family member or something for resale. A beautiful knife might just be the perfect blend of wood and metalworking wrapped up into one project. So how do you choose the right knife grinder for your needs? There are several key factors to consider when choosing the right knife grinder for your shop, and that often begins with space considerations. Traditionally, a knife grinder can be seen as a larger size unit, maybe something with a 72 inch long belt, like our G1015 knife belt sander and buffer. But what about smaller options for garage size workspaces? In this video, we'll be focusing on two smaller knife grinders, the G0898 and our H8192, and why they're great options for your shop. Let's take a quick second to define what a knife grinder actually is, as that can vary depending on where you look. A knife grinder can be defined as an exposed belt system capable of rotating quickly through various grit options for different sanding needs. And it's a machine capable of a higher revolution per minute, or RPM, which is often between 3000 and 4000 RPMs. A good knife grinder features a good size rigid platen, which is a plate directly behind the belt that you can apply pressure to during the grinding operation and it should also allow for easy belt tracking adjustment. Other key features are a pivoting head, which this machine it can rotate up to 90 degrees, and it also features a quick release for the belt system. Now having a solid work table that can be removed is a must as you'll be transitioning between 90 degrees while defining the rough shape of the knife to then removing the table to allow room as you define the plunge line and set your bevel angle by hand. The smaller unit is actually a combination sander which provides a fixed disc here to help you set those 90 degree angles right to the line. Now finally, you'll wanna have enough power to smoothly work through your workpiece without stalling out the machine which can lead to an inconsistent grind pattern and excessive heat buildup. In knife grinding, excessive heat buildup is definitely something you want to avoid. So having a motor capable of powering through each pass is a must. For example, these machines feature one horsepower motors, while the smaller combo grinder features a one third horsepower motor. Now you're probably saying a one third horsepower motor is pretty small, and it is, however, motor size should be considered in relation to the size of the projects you'll be taking on. So if you're doing a smaller Skinner style knife, then a smaller one third horsepower unit coupled with a quality abrasive will be perfectly acceptable. If you're grinding larger blades like a chef knife or even a broadsword, then a more powerful grinder is probably what you're looking for. So we've looked at the basics of what makes a good knife grinder. Now let's take a look at the nitty gritty of the sanding belts. Before we go any further, it's important to remember that anytime you're working with a knife grinder, it's common practice to wear your PPE, such as your safety glasses, hearing protection, and even an approved respirator. Airborne particulate, whether that's small dust sized pieces, a large piece of abrasive, or even ground metal can cause harm, so always protect yourself. Grizzly offers belts in a wide range of grit options and grit types, and you'll be walking through quite a few as your knife takes shape. We have everything from 40 and 60 grit belts like this to the 220 grit aluminum oxide belts like this. So what grit types are available? For these two inch by 48 inch belts, we offer traditional aluminum oxide belts as well as ceramic sanding belts. You'll notice the ceramic sanding belts cost a little bit more and that's because you typically get a longer lifespan from a ceramic belt plus the added benefit of the grinding agent that helps prevent loading of the grit and reduces heat buildup, which is critical during the grinding process. Aluminum oxide belts also wear like ceramic, though at a different rate. And these belts are great because they're cost effective, which means you can have more of them on hand while you're learning the ropes of grinding. And once you get a feel for it, it's a good idea to switch up to the long lasting ceramic abrasive. Remember that these grinders aren't just made for metal applications as they're capable of sanding complex curves or squaring edges on your handles as well. As I mentioned before, it's a good idea to have a selection of abrasives on hands as you'll be stepping through each grit as you refine your knife shape. So plan ahead, 
and have your belts well organized and within easy reach for quick changeovers. With the right size knife grinder, you can create one of a kind works of functional art for yourself or friends and family that make great gifts or even an awesome side income. So get out in the shop and start grinding today.